Welcome to Super Simple Sourdough. I was trying to learn how to make sourdough because uh, doomsday prepper as I am, I was worried that during the coronavirus that uh, the Southeast Asia ports could close and we would no longer get rice. So we bought 50 pounds of rice. And then I was like, what if it's not enough? I don't know how to make bread. Like we can get flour, what it, but what am I gonna do with the flour? I don't, know what to do, I don't know what to do with flour. My mission, I shall learn how to make bread. We're professionals here. When I was trying to research how to do sourdough, um, there was always like these hipsters using like really, really complicated stuff and like all of these like tools that I didn't have. So I kind of had to figure out a way to do it without, you know, uh, having a million different like bread things like, like uh, scores or proofing baskets or, you know, this, that, or the other fucking thing. So I wanted to share that with you, how to make sourdough bread uh, without any bread making tools. Okay, so first, oh shit, I need a whisk. Ah! No whisk. I used them all for eggs. I did. So. First, you need freshly fed yeast. I mean, freshly fed sourdough starter. This is Morla, the ancient one, uh, who is 140 years old. You can find um, like a starter that's like a powder and like order it in the mail, or you can get like a doughy starter. Um, Breadtopia also has some starters that I got from them. Um, this is from some like mom and pop shop in San Diego that I forgot the name of. I'm a terrible person because Chad got it for me as a present. Um, oh yeah, get this wet first. God damn it. Oy. It's easier to um, scoop your, your starter if your scooper is wet because then it like it falls off easier. So you want to stir it and make sure all the bubbles are out before you scoop it. I just stirred this, so bloop. And look, it falls right out. Isn't that satisfying? And now I'm I'm done with you. Damn it, I forgot to get the cup thing. Oh, my knee is stuck in one position. Damn it, where's my other cup measure things? I thought I was so prepared for this. Okay, fine. I'm doing this in two steps. Next, need a cup and a half of water. This only measures one cup. It's one cup. One cup. I'll be back. Half. Uh, half cup. All right. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of uh, oil. You want to use oil that could be, you know, that is high heat tolerant, like a, a grapeseed oil here. Um, this is a half a tablespoon, so I'm gonna do two of these. Two. And then next you're going to do one teaspoon, one disp, disp, disp of salt. This is like the biggest clusterfuck shoot ever with the dog and the water and the me dropping shit. We're professionals here. One tisp of salt. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, whisk, a whisk, a whisk you. And you whisk it up real good and frothy lack if you can. And usually it sticks to the end of the whisk. And I've got to like finagle it off. Okay, that's pretty good. Alrighty. Now we need two cups of flour. This is one of our bulk things of flour. You can use all-purpose flour um, for either. I have noticed a big difference using bread flour, um, just with like the like the texture of the bread. It's like softer on the inside, um, but it's still good. I've I've done it with all-purpose flour, all-purpose wheat flour. I've done it with like red wheat flour. It's just a different taste and different consistency. If you like like a denser bread, I would use like all-purpose. If you like fluffier, softer. I would go blood power. One cup. Two cup. This is. I got an itchy toe. Hold on. Goku's fighting Vegeta. My toe is so itchy. Okay. Uh, 
this is super awesome. It's really big, so I can't get it out. But it's like, I'll show you kind of. Where are you? It's Central Milling Company, Natural Choice, 100% Organic Whole Wheat Pro Fine Flour. I don't know, but this this stuff made a big difference. Um, I really love this wheat flour. And I'm making a mess. But you're gonna do one and three quarters cup of the uh, wheat flour. So one cup. Three quarters cup. And now you are basically done adding ingredients for the entire time. Why do I use two different ones? I think it's just more for the consistency. I mean, it's like healthier to use whole wheat, but I've done entirely whole wheat loaves just to be healthy and it's just like super dense. Um, it's good, but I feel like this kind of 50-50 ratio is my favorite toe. This is like the satisfying part. I really like, this is probably why I like doing sourdough so much, it's just because I get to mess with that a lot. Stir it up. And mostly I just try to constantly get it off of like the sides of the bowl. Get everything stuck into one big ball. Like you don't want any like loose powder. It doesn't need to be like a perfect ball. I mean, if you, if you want to grab it, you can grab it. Palm it like, like Travis Brown's butt. <laughs> and uh, now we're going to cover this bad boy for 15 minutes. Props to Breadtopia. He uses shower caps oh. to cover his bread. And it's totally reusable. We're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. And I'm going to see you in 15 minutes. 15 minutes has passed, and now it is time to do the pull and fold, AKA the rub and tug, according to Mr. Brown. Um, so this is like, I don't know, make the gluten happy or something. Okay, so you wet your fingers so it doesn't stick to you. And you're basically going to pull it and fold it over. Hence the name. And basically you want to keep going around until it starts looking kind of smooth. Okay, so you can see the more that I pull it, the more it's kind of looking less crusty and more doughy goodness. And now I'm going to, with my fingers, grab it and flip it in the bowl. And it should look all nice and shiny and cover it with your shower cap or cling wrap or aluminum foil or, you know, cloth. What are those called? Tablecloth? Towel, hand towel, whatever. Cover it and come back in another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes later, we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Yoink. Wet your fingers, rub and tug. Pull it over. And this should be a lot easier since it's already smooth from the last pass, but I just find it like really satisfying. So I probably do it way more than I should. La, 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 la. And splop. Ta-da. So now I'm gonna leave it for eight to 16 hours. The longer you wait, the more sour it will be. Um, I put a cloth over my first loaf ever. I waited like overnight and it actually kind of got like crusty. Like it kind of dried out um, from just the cloth. So that's why I recommend something a little bit more airtight, like the shower cap or cling wrap or even a limited grill. But uh, yeah, I will check on it again tomorrow and uh, it should be ready to hack and hold. I'll see you guys later. So we have waited overnight. I uh, finished making this one at uh, about 9 p.m. It's close to noon, so it's been about 15 hours. It's gonna be nice and sour. Um, you can tell it's done. It's looking good kind of by the consistency. It's kind of 
Mushy, pushy, it's got a little bubbly legs. This super simple sourdough is if you have no special bread making tools, you can get this done with just some water and a spatula. You usually use a bread scraper, but a spatula works just as good. You just gotta get it wet and kind of get in the creases here. The wetness keeps it from sticking to you. So next I'm going to do what's called a coil fold. I wanna get my fingers wet so it doesn't stick to me. And I'm gonna grab the bread right in the middle and pull it up. See, it's kind of stuck at the bottom. It helps it stretch. I'm gonna put it down and grab it the other way. Now, in most bread recipes, you would put it in a proofing basket, but we don't have one. So we're just gonna flip it right over in the bowl. Pow. Now that's flipped over. I'm gonna push the little creases together. You can see, I'm gonna close this up. I'm like, oh, so sorry about that. Yeah, okay. Because we don't have a proofing basket, I'm just gonna put some flour all the way around it so it doesn't stick to the bowl when I pull it out. So let's take a little bit of flour, sprinkle it on the top. Now you really have to get it on the bottom, so because this is where it could stick. So just a little bit, don't like cover it, but just enough so it doesn't stick. It's still gonna hold on a little bit anyway, but you just don't want it like deforming your loaf. So you just wanna give it just enough so it's not sticking to your fingers. Now I'm gonna cover it again with my little shower cap. Again, you can use tin foil, cloth, whatever, um, shrink wrap. I like the shower caps because I can reuse them and they really are really good at keeping it airtight. And, uh, and now I'm gonna let it sit for an hour and a half to an hour, an hour and 15 minutes seems like a sweet spot. Um, but in the meantime, you should start preheating your oven. If you don't have a Dutch oven or one of those fancy little clay bread things, you can use uh, oven safe pot. This is a enameled cast iron pot. But anything that is has a lid on it that you can stick in the oven pretty much works. So let's set a timer. Okay, so we have waited one half hour since our coil fold and it's time to preheat the oven. And you don't just preheat the oven, you preheat the oven with the pot in it. Damn, that's a good looking dick, baby. <laughs> I just whipped his dick out and was doing the golf clap for me. Ah, I love you. Oh, really? Is that what the golf clap was for? Hi, Boji. <laughs> This is fucking chaos. We have waited a half hour since the coil fold, um, depending on how long it takes your oven to heat up. Uh, we're heating it up all the way to 500. So um, I like to give it like an hour, you know, to, to heat up. And so put in your pot with the lid. Close it. Turn it to 500, duh. And set your timer for an hour. One hour later. Bread, 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 everybody. Bread, 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 bread. Why are why is everybody not happening? Where is our Where is everybody? I want everybody. Everybody. You're just filming with your middle finger up. <laughs> um, I burned myself a lot, so Trav got me these gloves. Uh, the first time I made sourdough, I forgot that the lid was also hot. I went to go grab it with no gloves on and then burnt my fingers off and then I lost the Mortal Kombat tournament. So um, keep your gloves on. All right, so my pot is in there. My oven is a preheated. So I'm going to take it out. Come here, buddy. Hats, uh, don't forget like I did. Put the lid down. Now, you're gonna put a little bit of flour on the bottom of the thing. Just so it doesn't stick like, just a little, little bit, just a little, little, chef's kiss. little chef's kiss. Now, to get this out, I don't have a proofing basket, so I'm kinda gonna, gonna like roll it out. I'm gonna kinda like roll it out like this. 
and try to start and try and palm it. Okay, and then you want to flip it this side down. Don't touch the edge because that shit is hot. Well, I'm, I'm going to score it, but a lot of people don't have scorers, so I'm just going to just put one, dough on my forehead. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I'm just going to use a regular like steak knife. Um, so you want to cut it so that the bubbles can escape. So I'm just going to try and get like three good ones. And I forgot to score a bunch of times, and it pretty much just... You know, it's like life, it finds a way. That's how you make the lines. Yeah. This is how you make the lines without a score. Just use that. I'm going to put the lid on without grabbing it with my bare hands because that's painful. And... I have to bless it. Bless it. I have to bless this bread. That's why I'm here. Watch your fucking hand, dude. Okay, it's blessed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and now we shall set an alarm for... 20 minutes. I like to do 20 minutes with the lid on and then 14 to 15 with the lid off. Um, so, 20 minutes. Listen, this is super simple sourdough, not rosemary sourdough. I will figure out how to do it. We'll do it another day, okay? I love you. 20 minutes later. Bread, 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 bread. Bread, 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 everybody. Bread, 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 everybody. Bread, 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 everybody. I'm sweating. It is time to take off the lid. It has been 20 minutes. All right. So. Woo! Come here, buddy. Okay. Ah, uh, you can see it's kind of split pretty well along where I scored it. Why does this always fucking happen? Oh, you son of a fucking bitch. There you go. Okay. And um, I like to do the convention bake bu button for the last bit, but if you don't have it, it's fine. 14 minutes. I've done 15 and it's worked out perfectly, but I've also done 15. It's been a little bit too hot at the end and I haven't done it with a round loaf. So we're gonna do 14 and see how it's doing. Nice hat. We put the lid on to make sure the bread itself is super toasty warm. You take the lid off to make the crust all crispy. I used to do like a 50-50, like half the time has the lid on and half the time has the lid off. But um, it was making the crust a little, a little burnt for my taste. So um, I, instead I've made more lid on time and a little bit less lid off time. So depending on how you like your crust, leave the lid on longer for less crispy, off sooner for more. And so it's a lot like a learning process. You just try and find your balance. <laughs> like, what are you doing back there? Bread. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Doing, bread, doing bread. Yeah. yeah doing bread. You're doing bread stuff? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did a lot of this. You're doing it behind my back. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do anything. Hey, guess what? What? Got a bun in the oven. <laughs> Clickbait! Clickbait! <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got 12 minutes and 30 seconds left, so we will be back 12 minutes and 37 seconds left later. Wait, hold on. 12 minutes and 30 something seconds later. Okay, um, turn off the convention bake if you're using it because that hot air blast in your face kind of sucks. All right, time to take a temperature. Ooh, wow. Yeah, looks good. 189, 191, 192, 195. This looks good. 197, we're gonna make it. 97.8, 199. 200.3. God damn it, now it's gonna wait. 200.5. Anyway, so now it's over 200. And usually you can just turn it upside down. Okay, Let's see if it just falls out. Yeah, ah! Yep. Um, you gotta leave it to cool off somewhere that it can air out on the bottom because I've done not done that before and it gets like all wet on the bottom. So I like to leave it up here where we have pans cool. And it must cool for an hour. But I just kind of want to show you guys how it looks because it's a good looking loaf. So you can see where we scored it. It's got a good sound. 
that means it's done. Oh my God, it smells amazing. And so it shall sit here for one hour at least. You can wait more if you want, but at least an hour until you can start cooking, I mean, cutting into it. And that is the super simple sourdough in the pot. Um, we will do the, the reveal and cut down the middle um, in an hour. Okay, so we have allowed the bread to cool for an hour. It smells good. It looks good. We'll see how the inside looks. It's the real moment of truth here. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. Ooh, there's like a resistance in the crust, but it also kind of gives way when you press on it, which is a really good sign. Oh, yeah. That's some good sourdough. And you can see how squishy soft it is on the inside. It's still warm, but how crispity crunchy the crust is. I should cut me a slice just for proof of how great it is. Oh God, look how soft it is. It's like bending, it's like curling when it falls off. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Trav just cooked this brisket for like 18 hours. Oh God, look how supple this bread is. We're gonna do sweet and salty. Salty first. Um, I'm so good to me. So good. This is seriously, I think, my best loaf ever. It's so sour. I love it so much. Laura Ann, Laura Ann Jams. Oh yeah. This is the Granny Superstar Apple Butter. This is like not even toasted either because I usually like my bread toasted, but this is just, um, oh wait, I'm going to put that back in there. Oops. Mm -hmm. The inside to crust, soft to crunchy ratio is amazing. You need the whole thing, wait. you? <laughs> <laughs> I stole it back. <laughs> Rhonda's best loaf trap. Yep. That's really good. Super simple sourdough. It's sourdough without the complications. I'm not a bearded hipster making it seem so complicado. You know, I'm gonna make this simply simple, simple, simple. Oh. And I came up with super simple sourdough. Super simple sourdough. That's what I made. That's what you got. Have fun time making your bread. <laughs> <laughs>